Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another reaction video. This time it's to face some top fives, top ten scary ghost videos to truly terrify you. Let's see how scared we get, shall we? Uh, do appreciate you coming by. I am trying to hit the 500 sub mark still, so if you wouldn't mind hitting the sub button, I'd be very much appreciated. Also, while you're there, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up and leaving some feedback in the comments just to help with discovery, it'd be very much appreciated. And if you need further updates around my schedules and new videos and things, please follow my socials, TikTok and X at Technofish Live. And if you want to discuss any of my videos or join in games or anything like that, you can catch me live streaming on YouTube and Twitch at Technofish Live from around 10 o'clock p.m. UK time. Um, if you wouldn't mind dropping by Facebook's channel as well, the links are in the in the description of the video. Give them a sub and a thumbs up on the video as well. That'd be very much appreciated. In the meantime, we're going to hit this video and let's hope it's a good one. So this is Fees and Top 5's Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos to Truly Terrify You. Let's have a look, shall we? Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Today we're going to take a look at some of the scariest videos I could find. Number 1. Reddit user Gabberflasm is an account run by a guy named Ethan that currently lives in Oklahoma. And Gabberflasm, that's a cool name. Just recently, he shared a creepy video that caught a lot of people's attention on Reddit. According to Ethan, his brother was loading a Christmas tree into his car from his mom's house to take back to his apartment. But while he was busy trying to make everything fit in the car, something chilling was going on around him. Creepy chickens. Well, well just about to see where we're looking. Well. While bent over with his head in the trunk, a creepy figure can be seen walking by in the background. This gray figure moved from left to right through the trees before bending down out of sight. Then as Ethan's brother closed the car door, something appeared to reach out from under the car. I thought Two so much ghostly flash. hands seemed to appear and eerily reach for his legs. He didn't notice the figure or whatever was under the car at the time. And it wasn't until his mom later watched this footage that she made this chilling discovery. Number it was a bit creepy that way. It seemed a bit strange the way the guy just sort of faded when he bow bent down. Like, but um, I did see something flash under the car. I didn't realize it was supposed to be hands. That's pretty creepy. Two. Number two. TikTok user Skiboy Two Digit is an account run by a man that works as a janitor at Cathedral High School, located in Los Angeles, California. The school was built in 1925. But this school has a darker past than most, as it was built directly on top of a cemetery. God. Most people that linger in the building after dark have reported experiencing strange things that they couldn't explain. And with photos of the old cemetery, as well as pieces of tombstones displayed on the walls, this- Right. Why? Why? This paranormal activity comes as no surprise. Well, one night, as Ski Boy was making his rounds through the school cleaning up, he began recording after a chilling encounter. Alright, I, um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job. Um, I think he's been on the job in that shower. Look at the state of that. But this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. Um, here at work, I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh... Yeah, let me just show you guys. All right. Um, just so, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on a cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky. Shit. 
I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe him until tonight. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. We all float down here. Um, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um, Waiting for Pennywise to jump out. Oh, okay. Mm. No, that's, I was wondering if there was he was pulling the string with his foot. See, no, no, no. doesn't no. appear to be. It just, it just follows me, no matter what. Ooh! Oh, I can't. Okay. A single red balloon seemed to interact with the man recording. A very unsettling sight, as every other balloon remained completely still. I did actually get a proper chill there. I don't know if there's a draft through this door or what, but I did get a proper chill there. And as he warily backed out of the classroom, this balloon hauntingly followed making its way into the hall and floating directly towards him. But as he backed away, a dark figure can be seen in the background. The shadowy figure quickly darted past an open doorway, only appearing for a brief moment. But this chilling Crazy. encounter was more than enough for Ski Boy to call it quits for the night. So could this be a ghost from the cemetery beneath the school, or is there a logical explanation? Let Number me know your thoughts three. below. Four years ago, a Reddit user with the incredible really? name Ghost Pubes One posted a video to Reddit in search <laughs> for answers. One My night, God. a motion notification from his baby monitor caught his eye, and the footage captured appeared to show a downright terrifying paranormal event. His post to Reddit reads as follows. I'm 96% sure we caught a ghost on camera, pulling on my almost two-year-old son's leg while he was sleeping in his crib. Throughout the video, a ghostly orb can be seen hovering around the crib and getting eerily close to the sleeping child. But eventually, something looked to grab the young boy's leg and yank it into the air. His leg hovered around the top of the crib before falling back down to the mattress. And if you watch closely, the small orb seems to follow the movement of his leg perfectly, almost as if it was the one responsible for this movement. Reddit users flooded the comments, with one suggesting the genius idea of using the baby as ghost bait for a follow-up video. But unfortunately, a follow-up never came. Dang it. That was pretty scary. There's nothing worse than when it's involving babies and kids and stuff like, to be honest. But, um, it seemed pretty legit. Let us know what you think in the comments. Number four. Number four. Back in 2009, a video was uploaded to a YouTube channel called Ericus Maximus that quickly gained traction. 
According to the man behind this account, one day while he was in the woods riding his ATV, no, a friend of his was recording a video time. of the ride. But as he trudged through a creek, a mysterious figure was caught in the background. Yeah, I think we reacted to this one the last time. Potato cam. He does seem to react to it pretty quick, like as soon as he says it, so there must have been something there. Directly in front of him in the distance, a solid black figure can be seen. This unknown figure quickly made its way from right to left, through the creek and out of view. Eric immediately noticed this being and quickly pointed it out. But could this be solid proof of Bigfoot? Because of the potato Bigfoot? video quality, I guess we'll never know. I wouldn't Number have said five. Bigfoot, like. On a YouTube channel called Tommy Wells, a series of videos were posted documenting the hair-raising haunting he was experiencing. Random cold spots throughout the house, as well as terrifying poltergeist activity, soon became a daily occurrence for him and his family. And with no other ideas of how to rid themselves of this dark spirit, they eventually decided to use a Ouija board. As you but do. little did they know that this would turn out to be a terrible decision. All right. <laughs> you ready for this? Have you ever done one before? Right. Don't do Ouija boards. It's not too I hard. Don't... I don't talk messing with them because I know what they could do. Well, a lot of times they're bad spellers. It takes them a minute or so to spell out what they're spelling. And you have to just touch your fingers to it easy. Not enough where you're going to unintentionally move it or whatever. Okay, just barely. You just barely want to make contact and let it control it. You just follow it with your hands more or less, okay? It must be on the video. I thought it would be the dog crying. Because we're going to try to find out what's in this house. I don't know how else to try to contact it. We've got to find out what it wants. Right. I'm going to see if I can get it to leave us alone. Let's go. Let's go back. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Whatever entity, spirit, demon, whatever you are, it's in my family's home that's plaguing us and giving us hell. Please identify yourself or tell us what you want, what it'll take to leave. Me and my family and are home alone and never return. We're tired of this. Just tell us what you want. Blood. Are you gonna tell us so? Did they just spell what they can spell? What the heck? Oh my god, what? <laughs> well, well, that, that's a good what idea. Mean, what, what the hell do you want? <laughs> Come on now. Oh my god, Tommy! Son of a. Oh my god! Surely the planchette began to glide across the board, appearing to spell something out. But suddenly, the board began to lift up off of the table. The couple quickly lifted their hands off the board, breaking the connection. But whatever was in the room with them then flipped the board onto the floor. This video should serve as a warning that unless you want to be besties with a demon, then avoid Ouija boards at all costs. 
it didn't. They should have at least sort of let us know what was being said or in the follow up, just sort of said this is what came through before it happened, sort of thing. It, them things are creepy. Just don't, don't. Number six. In January of 2016, a video was posted online by a YouTube channel called Lewis Rebel. While driving his daily commute on the freeway at 5 p.m., Lewis could have sworn he saw a dark figure walking along the side of the busy road. As soon as he got home, he reviewed the footage from his dash cam, and this is what he saw. black figure quickly passed by the car. Although this figure looked to be nothing more than a silhouette, it also appeared to be somewhat yeah, transparent. Quite trans Lewis was immediately it? unsure of what he just witnessed, but this footage proves that someone or something was either brave or incredibly stupid to walk along a busy freeway at night. Number yeah, that's... that's a bit of, there seems to be quite a few of them going around now. Uh, obviously, there's more and more dash cams available uh, with footage, to be fair. But um, that one seemed sort of legit, to be honest. It did seem quite translucent. Let us know what you think. Number seven. A man that goes by Jay Breezy works as a security guard at a retirement home. And during his shifts, he would often find himself completely alone at his desk in the middle of the night. And while he kept a close eye on the security camera monitor, he began to notice subtle movement around him. Muff decided to show herself again. I think I've seen this one some time ago, but I'll let it play through just to get your thoughts. It, it, it is a bit strange, this one, to be honest. See it? See it? It's faint, though. I looked at it like, okay. I'm like, okay. So I hesitated, so I just threw the sum, threw something, because I didn't know what to do, you know. Just threw a boot. At that time, it came from over my head, though, for some reason. I don't know, but I was like, you know what? I'm see, I'm over there just talking shit now. Like, why is it always me and stuff? So it is what it is. It showed up to me twice already. From the first video, but this time, I guess it's getting used to me or something. I don't know. That's kind of creepy. So I'm like, you know, let me just pray for on it. I pray to God. Like, I hope it don't, I don't know. I don't know who it is or what it is, but uh, leave me alone, for real. Because this is ridiculous. I'm looking like, okay, it, I don't see it no more. So I'm like, you know, let me just sit down. Let me just sit my ass down. While at his desk, he noticed a faint mass float by directly in front of him. This ghostly anomaly hovered over his head, then glided through the room and out of view. Jay's immediate response was to throw a book in its direction, but something tells me that didn't do much. On another night while on the job, this same spirit seemed to return. I saw that. Shit. I saw that. Shit. See, I saw that. Shit. Once again, while at his desk, a faint anomaly flew directly past him. He instantly stood up and stared ahead in disbelief at what he just witnessed. And luckily, this camera captured everything, serving as evidence of his eerie encounters. Number I didn't realize there was a follow-up one to that. Similar, yeah, it, it is quite creepy that one because it, it does look legit. His reaction and everything does seem quite legitimate. Great. Reddit user Isaac2406 shared a video to the ghost subreddit of something he filmed a few years back. I don't use Reddit, it's always been a bit dodgy when I've looked at stuff to be honest, but um, I wouldn't mind trying to find this ghosty one. One night while at work at 3 a.m., Isaac noticed something on one of the cameras in the building. As he was the only one there, he immediately reviewed the footage, and what he saw made his hair stand on end. Uh. 
stuff. Is this me? Isaac could hardly believe his eyes as a shadowy figure was caught walking around the empty building. That's quite this clear figure as well, was incredibly it? faint and almost completely transparent, leaving Isaac as well as myself with zero explanation. But what do you think? No That's another good one, that. Let us know what you think in the comments. There's some decent videos on here. Number 9. Ian from the Midwest Ghost Hunter YouTube channel. Now this guy. How do I put it? He seems a bit too good to be true. Like everything that can happen seems to happen on demand for this guy. If it's legit, it's legit. But it just seems a bit coincidental, quite a lot. I've seen a few of his videos now in different places. And he seems to be able to call things on demand at times. It's it's a bit sus. But they are good videos. But let me know what you think in the comments, because I'm, I'm a bit wary. And recently set out to investigate the Oakland Cemetery. Since 1843, the Oakland Cemetery has served as the main cemetery for Iowa City. And over the years, many reports of paranormal occurrences have come from anyone brave enough to step foot inside. There's said to be a haunted grave that mysteriously glows, as well as ghost children that roam the cemetery. Ian kicked things off by taking some photos to see what he might catch. His methods are quite good, to be honest. He does go about things quite thorough, but it just seems a bit... too good to be true. It was weird while I was taking photos. I think I might have caught something over here. I'm not too sure. I got to look at it closer. Um, it was in between those two trees. It looked like a mist or something. <coughs> I know they see children here, so maybe that was a ghostly child. Let's go find out. A misty anomaly was caught just off in the distance, but in the very next photo, this anomaly was gone. Ian then ventured deeper into the cemetery in search for a place to try to communicate. All right, so I've got a spirit box right here. I'm gonna do a session and see if I can get any responses from any of the oh, spirits the that may be Buried here or just anywhere in the cemetery. Is there anyone here that haunts this grave? I heard that this tombstone just behind me here has some strange activity that occurs. What does this tombstone do? Whoa. I heard that. Could you repeat that? I didn't quite get that. What is the name on the tombstone? What does the name say? Boss. I heard that. You got it. So I definitely know you are a spirit and you are talking to me because that was intelligent. Several responses came through the spirit box with the second clearly being a direct response to Ian's question. He continued through the cemetery when he began to hear things around him. <sighs> I'm definitely noticing the temperature dropping. It is very cold out here now. Are the spirits here as cold as I am right now? Can you feel the cold air like I do? <gasps> Pretty I'm sure I heard something over there. there. Hello?
Someone over there? Just imagine how creepy it would be if someone peeked out from one of those trees. Alright, let's go up to it. Hello? Holy shit! I just heard footsteps! It just sounded like something ran by me. Hello? They went this way. It sounded like it could have been like a kid running. But there's nobody here. <gasps> Whoa! What was that? I literally saw the kids playing. They came from over here. They came from over here. The ghostly sound of footsteps running towards Ian came from somewhere in the darkness. And soon after, a chilling childlike scream came from the distance. Despite the cold, Ian continued on when things got even weirder. It's actually been pretty quiet over at this grave site. Um, most of the activity seems to be outward. But. 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 I thought I heard more children. What the? Came from back here. Hello? So the same high pitched voices from before. Is anyone back here? Are you guys playing back here? You're not in trouble. I'm just curious. I'm just curious as to what's going on. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Something just went behind that tree. Oh my God, I saw that with my own eyes. I'm right back here. But look, there's nothing there. I mean, that's fair enough. Oh my god. <laughs> that was nuts. Look, I'm gonna search around this whole tree. There's literally nobody. I am the only one in this cemetery. Suddenly, a ghostly white mass flew directly in front of Ian. This figure moved from left to right and appeared to hide behind a tree. As the night went on, Ian continued exploring until 4 in the morning, but no other evidence was caught. Number 10. Number 10. Over on a YouTube channel called Who Martin, a guy named Martin often uploads videos of his mm. creepy adventures. And just recently, while on a trip to Spain, Martin noticed a tunnel sitting right next to his hotel that caught his eye. And the more he thought about this tunnel, he couldn't resist taking a look inside. So soon after sunset, accompanied by a friend, the duo set out to investigate. Okay guys, so, you as you can see, we are pretty much in some sort of a big ravine right now. It is, if you look at the ground, looks like we're in the hills or something. Uh, bro, it goes like pretty much up there into the mountains, so yeah, this whole place is pretty creepy. Dude, look, this is the freaking tunnel. Holy crap, this is weird. Let's try going in for a second. Hello? Dude, we gotta be like quiet. As they went deeper and deeper into the tunnel, the atmosphere around them got heavier. 
And once they stopped at a certain point, Martin was positive that he was hearing something further down the tunnel. I thought I heard music more than footsteps. Sound like a bloody violin or something. I thought it was the video. When suddenly the terrifying sound of footsteps rushing towards them came out of nowhere, Martin immediately darted out of the tunnel, wasting no time to look back. So whether this was a ghost or a hairy troll living in the tunnel, I guess we'll hairy never troll. know. <laughs> Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Yeah, guys, please drop by Faceham's channel. The link is in the description. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to his channel as well as do the same on mine if you wouldn't mind, please. Yeah, what did you think on that one? Then let us know in the comments below. Some good clips again. Quite like doing these scary ones. They're good fun. As I said, any feedback is good feedback. I am trying to hit the 500 subs, so if you're not as pushed towards that, I'd be very grateful. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on the individual videos as well, just for discovery, and leave a comment. Anything I'll do, just even an emote or whatever, anything will help. Uh, if you want further updates, as I said, follow me on my socials, X and TikTok at Technofish Live, and make sure you catch me live on a night from around 10 o'clock UK um, on YouTube Gaming and Twitch at Technofish Live. If you want to discuss this, any me of the ghost videos, any me of the clips, joining Valorant games with us, or I am looking at starting to play other games as well. Um, so keep an eye out for that as well. And I am trying to think of other ideas for videos as well. So any suggestions, any feedback, please let me know. In the meantime, thanks for watching and have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.